The Northtown News Magazine is brought to you in part by the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation, caring for the families of slain and seriously injured officers. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that lemon light city, sweet home. Hi, I'm Artie Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Set us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. Uh, all our shows from the last nine years are on YouTube. Uh, Community Policing Caps 24.org. It is election season, and we'll be trying to bring you as many candidates as we possibly can. If you are a legitimate candidate running for office, we want you on the show. If you're a judge, you're on the ballot, we want you on the show. Um, if you're a Republican running for Congress, we want you on the show. You know, we, we want to give everybody their fair share of time. And, you know, it, don't go saying either that, hey, he didn't ask me. I can't ask everybody. There's a lot more of you and there's only one of me. Mm -hmm. So. I know you guys are watching this, and uh, if nobody else, every politician in the world is watching this, but, and, and there are, are a few more. So contact me, get on the show. There is less time than you think till Election Day. It is a pleasure to introduce you to the Republican candidate for Congress in the 9th District of Chicago, and that is Joan McCarthy Lassant. How are right. you? Nice to see you. Did I pronounce that right? Yes, Great. she did. Joan McCarthy Lassant. Okay, tell us about your background. Okay, well, I was actually uh, born here in the Ninth District. I've lived most of my life in the Ninth District. I was born over. Um, we, our family used to have a home on Bosworth, and I went to Saint Scholastica High School, which is, I think, just a mile or so from here. It's yes, on Ridge, Ridge, uh, Ridge and Howard. Yeah. It closed within the last year right. or so. Um, and I currently live in the Ninth District in Wilmette. I uh, was in marketing for 10 years. Um, I am a mom, I'm a foster mom, and uh, very involved in the local co community with the church, the schools, and uh, a group that we started uh, that studies policy for women called the Policy Circle. Very good. So, um, okay, it's one thing to get involved in the neighborhood stuff, and now all of a sudden Congress? Well, all <laughs> politics is local. And all politics is local. And I am terrified uh, in the direction that our country is taking. And I am tired of being represented by one of the most ineffective left-wing congressmen, um, really, in the country. And um, I was approached to run, and we're going to do it. 2016 is the year that Jan Schakowsky is going to lose. She has been uh, a politician for 24 years. She has been in Congress for 17 years. And Congress right now, as you probably know, is at an all-time low approval rating of 9%. And deservedly. <laughs> it's dysfunctional. You know, a bunch of big egos sitting around a table. Nobody can come to a compromise. You know, with all due respect to Mrs. Schakowsky, we thank her for her service, but her time has come. It's time for her to step down. It's time for new energy. No, definitely. And the fact of the matter is, even though this has largely been a Democratic district through the years, um, a, a highly unqualified candidate last time got, I believe, 74,000 votes. Correct, 35 percent. In the 9th District. And yes. that keeps climbing ever since Joel yes. Pollack yes. Made, made his initial uh, dent into... Yes, uh, in 2010. Yeah. And then there was Tim Wolf in 2012. And then, as you say, Susanna Tanis. And it's been going up, actually. Yes, yes. Well, I think part of the problem is Mrs. Schakowsky. I mean, she's so far to the left. She's ineffective. She's been in Congress, you know, almost two decades. And, and what does she have to show? Really nothing. Congress has an all-time low approval rating of 9%. Well, she did have a husband who got in, in, convicted <laughs> on a felony. <laughs> yes, yes, she does. And she, you know, has become an elitist over the years. She summers in her summer home in, you know, Michigan, and she's in Washington, D.C. And, you know, really, I'm, a, I'm the perfect alternative for the district. I am uh, financially 
I don't know if I'm conservative, but I'm financially responsible. I do believe that we have to pay our bills and that if we don't have enough money to pay for a program, then we've got to cut back somewhere else. We can't just be running up these $18 trillion deficits. And I'm very socially moderate. You know, I'm a mom of teenage daughters, so I'm, I'm a great alternative to the district. Yeah, people don't realize that if there isn't enough money to pay for things, you are paying interest and you're adding to the debt. And what I think I saw a figure that the they had eighteen billion dollars or whatever nineteen twenty mm -hmm. trillion dollars mm -hmm. works out to something like over a half a million dollars per man, woman, and child in the United States right now. Correct. And this is what we are leaving to our children and our grandchildren. Yeah, and they're the ones we're going to have to pay for it. Correct. And they are the next generation. Absolutely. You know, just in the state of Illinois, where I have figures. If 25% of the budget, and the same is pretty much true for the city of Chicago, mm -hmm. and it's not quite that high nationally, but it is high. Mm -hmm. When a quarter of your money is going just to pay interest, correct? that is money that could have gone to all sorts of really wonderful things. Absolutely. You know, people complain about, oh, we don't have this program, we don't have that program, we can't go into space, we don't have a social program. Right. Well, you've only got X number of dollars, what are you going to do with them? I agree completely. Brilliant. I am all for helping people. I'm a foster mom. Um, we've been approved with DCFS now for three or four years. We have a little daughter who lives with us. Um, her mom, her biological mom, is a heroin addict. She's mentally ill. She's right here from the city of Chicago. She's lived with us for two and a half years. So I'm all for helping the poor, the most vulnerable, and our children. But we have to work within our limits. And if we don't have enough money to pay for something, then we need to cut back somewhere else. Now, uh, one of the things that, that I know, if I don't ask you, I'm going to get killed for, um, what's, your, what's going on in the Middle East? Well, I am a huge fan of Israel. I believe that Israel is um, our only ally and friend in the region. And one of the things that I found most shocking about Mrs. Shikowsky is that she boycotted the Prime Minister of Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu came to speak before Congress and she was a no-show. She boycotted him. And I feel she did not even give him the respect and the dignity that a Prime Minister deserves. When I'm in Congress and Prime Minister Netanyahu comes, I will show up at the meeting. It's one thing to agree to disagree, but you at least have to show up. She did not even give him the courtesy of showing up. I believe that Israel is our friend and ally, and I definitely support Israel. Yay. Um, that much I do like, definitely. Um, which McCoy, by the way, I should remind everybody, speaking of Israel, that Jewish Chicago will be out on the streets in time for early voting. And, um, you know, go check us out um, on the web. I finally put things together, so... Um, Want to remind you guys to uh, that's gonna we're gonna have a detailed everything on everything. Um, okay, you've got a minute and a half left. What else do you want to talk about? I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm interested in knowing you know what's important to you and and my constituents here in the ninth. Well, basically, in terms of things like that, I mean, I think it's the idea that you want to find out what people are interested in rather than dictate to people based on who's Absolutely. giving you money Absolutely. Um, is a pretty good indicator in and of itself that you're interested in um, getting to the bottom of it. And the fact of the matter is, you know, you're going to see uh, one of the things people don't realize in the Republican primary, an increasingly large number of Jews, particularly Orthodox Jews, are voting Republican. And um, I think in this neighborhood alone, over 33 percent of um, you know, the Jewish community voted in the Republican primary as opposed to the Democratic primary. So you're seeing enough of a shift where, especially in what should be a Republican year, mm -hmm. um, that, you know, because a lot of times you have somebody decent running, but they're running in a Democratic year. Mm -hmm. This figures more to be a Republican year mm -hmm. um, because, well, Historically, every eight years, there's a change. Mm -hmm. You know, eight years Democrat, eight years Republican at, at the top. You know, I mean, things do happen, but it, it's logical to be Republican. I assume you have a website? Yes, it's Joan for Congress, 
congress.com, joanforcongress.com. And I would like to come out to some of the synagogues and the temples and to speak to this community and to find out issues that are important to them. Because one of the things that upsets me the most about Obama is I believe he threw Israel and Prime Minister Netanyahu un under the bus. He certainly did. And at this point, we really are out of time. Okay. Uh, you have a Facebook page also? Yes, uh, Joan McCarthy Lassonde for Congress. And I'll come back. I'll okay. come back anytime. You got it. Real good. Thank you so much, Joan McCarthy Lassonde, Republican candidate for Congress, 9th District.